Twitter name. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good to see you. How was your weekend? It was good. Hello, teacher. Good Hello, evening. Jacqueline. Hi, Christian. Okay, so we are ready for a brand new week. Okay, today we're going to start section three. Okay, section three is about jobs. Okay, jobs and workplaces. The name of of the section is okay, Catherine. Okay, the name of the section is what do you do? What do you do? Y hablando de sections, okay, remember that you have to finish section three. Entonces, todos los ejercicios que tenemos de la section three, you have to complete it by Wednesday. Porque el Thursday in the morning empiezan a tomar nota. Entonces, usted tiene que completar section three. And the middle term y el examen de medio curso. Okay. Uh, List on Wednesday. El miércoles ya tendría que estar listo para cuando lo revisen el jueves temprano. All, oh, all, all have to be good. Okay, up to 80%. Remember, arriba del 80 las actividades. Okay, so here we have the vocabulary words related with jobs. And then we're going to mention some workplaces. Okay, we have cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, Nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Okay, and then we have to match okay, the, the jobs with the picture that corresponds. Okay. Section three. Jobs. Okay, here is the first exercise of section three. Look at the picture and answer correctly the profession of each one. Okay, what's his job? What's his job? He is a receptionist. And what's her job? She's a doctor. She's a doctor. And what's her job? The number three. She's a nurse. She's a nurse. Thank you. 
Thank you. Un 50% de posibilidad. Okay. Now, what's his job? He's a pilot. Excellent. He's a pilot. What's her job? Uh, she's a flight attendant. She's a flight attendant. A flight attendant. Okay. And number six, what's his job? He's a musician. He's a musician, correct. He's a musician. And me too. Hey, really? Yes. Piano. Piano. Hey, great. Great to know. And you are are you a singer too? Um, no, so so, so so, okay, okay, thank you. What's her job? Number seven, he is a singer. He, she, she, okay. she is a singer. In number eight, what's her job? Number eight? She's a judge. She's a judge. Judge. Number nine, what's his job? He's a lawyer. She? She. Por qué she? He's a lawyer. He is a police officer. He is a police officer. Yes. Ah, excuse me, I think a thing. Ah, okay. He is a police officer. Okay. Number ten. What's his job? He he is a lawyer. Okay. Yes. Yes. He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. Yes. Number eleven. What's his job? He is a chef. He's a chef. Okay. Yes. Okay. Number twelve. What's his job? He is a waiter. We say he's. Entonces? Is he is a white dress? A waiter. A waiter. He is a waiter. Mm. She or he? Estamos en la he. 12. He. Oh. Es he. He. he is a waiter. Okay, waiter. He's a waiter. Yeah. And 13. She is a waitress. A waitress. A waitress. Okay, she's a waitress. Correct. Okay, 15. What's his job? Is he is a salesperson. Okay. He's a salesperson. Fifteen, what's her job? She is a cashier. Cashier. She is a cashier. Okay, and number sixteen. 
16? She, she is a security girl. Okay. Okay, let's check. Wait. Ah, the, the apostrophe. Okay, so we can continue. Okay, questions about this part? Preguntas? No. No, no questions? No. Okay, then we have... Simple present questions, and we have the reduction. We have a pronunciation exercise. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV, even though you understand the script or dialogue and writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called Lincoln in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work? As I mentioned, okay. Como dice ahí en el video, okay, we have to practice how we are going to link these two sounds y se van a pronunciar como que si fuera una sola palabra. Entonces no vamos a hacer la pausa después del do, sino que lo vamos a unir con la siguiente palabra. Do you, do you. Entonces no vamos a decir where do you work, sino que where do you work, de corrido, en faster. Okay. Where do you work? Practice. Where do you work? Más de corrido el sonido. Where do you work? 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 Okay. Un poquito más rápido. What do you do? What do you work? Where do you do? What do you do? Where do you do? Where does what do you do? What do you do? 
What do you do? What do you do? Okay. Okay. Remember, también recuerden que las preguntas tienen un different intonation. Entonces tienen una entonación diferente. Ok. What do you do? Al final, con nuestra pronunciación es ascendente, going up. Ok. What do you do? What do you do? Ok. Next. Where does he work? Where does he work? Okay, no demás. Where does he work? Where does he work? Okay. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Okay. Where does he work? Yes, it has to be linked. What does he do? What, what does, does he do? What does he do? Where do they work? Where do they, they where work? Do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Mm -hmm. Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do you do? No, ya estamos en otra. Where do they work? Where do they work? Okay, faster, más rápido. Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Okay, and the last one. What do they do? 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 Okay. Yes. Muy bien. Eso es regarding to the reduction. Okay. In English, this is very common. They not only do with do and does. Um, también lo hacen con otra, otro montón de palabras. Esta, esta misma técnica de linkear o de unir sonidos. Ok. Questions of this part? No question. No questions? Ok. So let's check. Okay, let's check here. Okay. Vamos a ver un poquito de los workplace. We have here four uh, different workplaces. We have a hospital, an office, a store, and a hotel. Okay. According to the words that we have here, what words or jobs do you think to belong to these places? For example, in a hospital. Who else works in a hospital? Only the doctor and the nurse, or do we have more? Si entienden lo que vamos a hacer aquí. Yes, teacher. Okay. Aparte del doctor and nurse, do we have another job? Yes. Which receptionist? A receptionist. Okay, excellent. Yes. A receptionist. What about in an office? 
in an office. What jobs we can include there? Yes. Love you. Secretary. Lawyer. Secretary. Salesperson. In an office. Office es como. No. Por lo general, they are not to be okay, an office. Security uh, work. Okay, probably. Lawyer. A lawyer. Police officer. A police officer. Some. Okay. Some police officers works um, from the, the police station or the police office. Okay. Yes. Hometown. Which one? Accountant. Mm, accountant. Yes. Ese no lo tenemos acá. Pero sí. An accountant works in an office. In an office. Okay, then in a store. Salesperson. A salesperson, correct. A salesperson. Who else? Cashier. A cashier, muy bien. A cashier. Yes. Tell me two more at least. Um, A manager. A manager, okay. Only that. In a store, salesperson, cashier, mm, me dijeron security word. Security word. <laughs> okay, a security word. A security word. Okay, now in a hotel. Chef. A chef, okay. Who else? A waiters. Waiter, wait, waiters. Receptionist. A receptionist or a front desk agent. Que es la persona que está dando el, the rooms, the keys, like the rules, como las generalidades. Bartender. Bartender. Mm, yes, it could be. It could be. In a hotel, okay. Musician and singer. Musician, no. yes, <laughs> yes, musician and singers, yes, because some hotels has a a special room like the VIP room, and in that place, yes, Linda. How do you say personal de limpieza? Mm, a housekeeper. It could be housekeeper. Okay. If it is, yes. Okay. More questions? No. No questions. Okay. Tenemos por ahí nos menciona a, ah, bueno, ya dije lo que hacía el front desk agent. And I think that's all. 
Then we have a conversation. He works in a hotel. Okay. Okay, we're going to listen and practice. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to form a setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple. Okay. Questions about this part? This is a review. Porque esta parte ya la habíamos visto. Right? Yes or no? Ya habíamos visto cómo formar las double H questions. ¿Se recuerda? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Qué van a hacer las que vamos a practicar during the conversation? Ok. Dos cosas que vamos a practicar y a poner énfasis en esta conversación. Que one, obviously, the work places and the jobs, but also the linking, como la unión que subimos, que subimos practicando, ¿verdad? Pues, eh, where does your brother work? Okay, como hacer esa pronunciación junta de esas dos palabras. Okay, it's clear, yes. Yes. Okay, so let us start with two volunteers, please. Okay, Alexis and Yes, another volunteer. A los escojo yo entonces. Nichols. Okay, thank you. Okay, go. Where is okay, um, and this? Yes. Yes, Alexis, you are the first. Where does, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel though? He worked for the plaza. That's funny. My brother worked there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay, thank you. Can you remember the word hotel? Hotel. Pronounce the H. Hay que pronunciar la H 
Y recuerde también las sílabas tónicas, en dónde o en qué parte de la palabra va la mayor entonación de voz. Aunque en el inglés no tengamos tildes, but we have the... Eh, esta sílaba tónica, okay, la que lleva la mayor fuerza de voz. Y now Wilfredo and Jacqueline. Ok. Um, ¿O qué acaba de pasar? Ya que ni ya pasó, ¿verdad? Yo, mis. Ok. Um, I'm first. Ok. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother's work in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How do he like it? Mm, not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plus. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay, thank you. He remember agent. Agent, hotel, okay, what hotel does he work for? Okay, hotel, and uh, interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, and I think that's all. Do we have two more volunteers? Hey, Edwin, and I see Jacqueline. Okay. Hey, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How, how does he like it? Like it? No, very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works here there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actuality, actually, he's the manager. Okay, yes, thank you. Okay. Hotel, hotel. Okay, questions about this part? Vocabulary, meaning, pronunciation. Um, he's a from desk. Agent. Agent. What the meaning? Okay, in this position, okay, a front desk agent, he look for your information, your personal information. He asks you about your name, um, about the days you're going to spend in the hotel, okay, cuánto tiempo se va a quedar, su nombre la forma de pago, okay, all the general information, okay, that's the 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 responsibility of the front desk agent. 
and it's more like hotels. En este caso, digamos que esta posición es más para, para, para hoteles o personas que trabajan en, en hoteles. Okay. We don't have a front desk agent in restaurants or... Okay, yes? Okay. Okay. So no more questions about this part. Ah. Solo que entonces tiene que cambiarse el nombre, Rachel. El problema es que no le va a tomar asistencia. Ah, no, ya, ya, ya. Ya entendí. I got it, I got it. From the conversation, right. Okay, next part. The reduction. And, okay. Este tema ya lo habíamos visto. Remember the double H questions. Ya vimos la estructura. So tell me. ¿Cómo se forman las double H questions? Yes, I'm waiting. Yes, teacher. What? Okay. Do, okay. What, where, you how, how, what, where, how, when, ¿Qué otra? why, why, how yeah. much, ¿Qué otra? Who? Who? Ok. Muy bien, todas esas son double edged words. Esa sería la primera. Después de la, de la double edged word, yo voy a poner qué parte. Das or do. Ok, correct. The auxiliary. The auxiliary do or does. Ok, dependiendo del subject que yo vaya a, a utilizar. Ok, luego obviamente iría el subject, que sería el pronombre o el nombre de la persona. Then we have the verb and the complement. Yes. Yes or no? Do you remember this part? Yes, teacher. Okay. So let's do some examples. Okay, give me examples of double H questions, please. When do you study English? When do you study English? Okay, yes. More examples? Más ejemplos de cualquiera. Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay. When do you study? When do you study? Okay, similar to the first one. Okay. What time do you eat dinner? Okay, yes. What time do you eat dinner? Dinner. Okay. Dinner. Excellent. Okay. What time do you eat dinner? Excellent. What does her name? What does her name? What does her name? Okay. What does her name? Correct. 
Okay, veamos con what. Con what, ¿qué podríamos preguntar? What's your name? What's your name? Okay, what else? What do you feel? Ahí sería how. How do you feel? How do you feel? Mm -hmm. More what examples? Do you... Yes, repeat please. What do we do? What do you do? What, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Entonces, what do, do we do? Porque sería presente simple. What do we do? Okay. okay. What does your father do? What does your father do? Okay, excellent. Yes. Okay. What about these pictures that we have here? Can you make some questions? At least one question for each picture? Mm, no. Vamos a hacer preguntas en base a los dibujos que tenemos acá. Voluntarios, volunteers. Me teacher. Okay. Ben work works uh -huh. in a restaurant. Okay. Pero en forma de pregunta, ¿cómo sería? Where does Ben works? Where does, does Ben Work. work. Ben works. Ok. Solo que... Ok. Ok. Yes, Christian. Where does Claudia work? Where does Claudia work? Work. Recuerde que vamos a quitar... Vamos a dejar el, el verbo sin modificar. Where does Claudia work? Okay, yes. She worked in the hospital. Y ahí sí vamos a usar la S. She works. She works in a hospital. Okay, excellent. What about the third one? The third picture. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué podemos preguntar ahí? Where do they work? Where do they work? What else? Mm -hmm. One more. From the last picture. Why, where, where are they, for example? Where are they? Yes? They are in, were in the, uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia ese. Uh, pharmacy. Pharmacy, okay. Okay. And they I, are work in the pharmacy. They work, they work in a pharmacy. Okay. Okay. Excellent. ¿Cómo sienten que estamos con este tema? Yo lo siento así. 
it's clear for you this topic? Yes, it's clear. It's, tough. it's clear. Okay, for tomorrow, I will need a homework. Okay, for each double H word, okay, you have to write a question. Para cada una de las palabras de las double H words, hacer una oración. Make a sentence. Obviously, in simple present tense, in present simple, y um, recuerde cuándo o para qué eh, las reglas, ¿verdad? De cuándo vamos a utilizar el simple present. Ok, simple present routines, stories. Ok, eso sería para eh, tomorrow. Todavía no hemos terminado. Este, las palabras, las double H words, son eight. Serían where, who, which, what, why, how much, and how long. Ok, esas serían como las eight words. So you have to write eight sentences. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, now let's do the exercise okay, from the platform. Okay, wait. Okay. Complete the conversations. Select the answer that contains the two words. Okay, you're going to where, read. Uh -huh. Where does she like it? Mm. How does she like it? Okay, yes. How does she like it? How does she like it? Okay. Okay, number two. Yes. Volunteers. What does your brother work? Where? Otra vez. Is where does your brother work? Okay. Where does your brother work? At the airport. Okay, he's a pilot. Where, oh. where or what? Where? Where, porque la respuesta es del lugar, yeah. un lugar, an airport, an airport. Okay. Where does your brother work? Oh, okay, no, next. Esta, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Oh, how, how, how does he, like? Like it. How does he like it? Okay. He doesn't uh, really like it. Conversation three. Mm -hmm. Where do your parents like it? Like their home? Jobs. How do your parents, how do your parents like how? their work job? Okay, yes. How? How 
do your parents work? I'm not aware. How, how do your parents like their jobs? Okay. How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. Next. How do they work? I don't remember. Y luego la respuesta es in an office. It's a place. Where? Yes. I don't remember. Where do they work? Okay. In an office in the city. Conversation four. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Okay, I'm a student. I see. Mm -hmm. Why do you like your class? Mm. I see mm. how. Hey, how. 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 Yes. How do you like your classes? Okay, how do you like your classes? They're good. I like them a lot. Okay, let's check. And they are correct. Okay, do you have questions about this part? Preguntas. No question. No. Okay. Remember for this week, you have to complete section three and also the middle term. Okay, the next topic are the placement of adjectives. Okay. And we have this conversation. Okay, placement of adjectives. That's exciting. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn placement of to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same. Okay. Questions about the conversation? Repeat, please. Questions about the conversation. Vocabulary words, meanings. Okay, in this case, they say that she said that the students are terrific. Okay, in English, the meaning on terrific is not negative. Okay, no está diciendo que son terribles. No. In English, it's the opposite. It's a good thing. Okay, terrific is como, o sea, son buenísimos. That's the meaning of terrific. Okay, no, no es un significado negativo como en español. Okay, questions about... 
pronunciation dangerous 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 okay okay peligroso dangerous okay Stressful. Stressful, ¿qué significa, teacher? Stressful es estresante. Stressful. Okay, it's a very stressful job. Okay, in, in this case, because firefighters have to rescue people in... Also, mmm, como los bienes de las personas. So, in that case, it could be stressful. Because they are always worried about people, about to turn off the fire, etc., etc. Okay, por ahí había otra pregunta. Sí, la depresión de how are things with you? How? Pero si no se usa. Okay. ¿Cuál? How are things with you? How are things with you? How are things with you? ¿Qué si se utiliza? How, uh, how are things with you? Yes, Stephanie, lo dice, ¿verdad? Okay, it's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? ¿Y cómo van las cosas contigo? How are things with you? Okay. Now, two volunteers to practice the conversation. And that will be the, the last. Okay, Edwin. And Christian, okay, go. Hey, Christian, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am a firefighter now. You know. That's exciting. Firefighter. Yes, but it is a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Thank you. Okay. Dangerous, and sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, thanks. I think we have time for two more volunteers. Cecilia. And Catherine, okay. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teacher Maya Laiko High High School. How do you like it? It's great. Student are traffic. How hard are we with you? Not yeah. bad. Um, a fire. Far Firefighter. Fire Firefighter. Now, do you know? That, um, that has some to you. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And some, sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, thank you. That's exciting. That's exciting. Okay.
Okay. So please remember to start working on the platform. Recuerde trabajar section three porque until Wednesday. You have until Wednesday because they are going to check your work on Thursday. So on Thursday morning. Entonces, el miércoles ya tiene que tener completa la section three and the middle term. Okay, the middle term is the exam. Okay, tomorrow we are going to finish section three and we're going to do some exercises from the middle term. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, ¿quiénes ya iniciaron la section three? With me. Me. Okay. Y los demás, tomorrow, right? Le van a meter high speed. Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, hopefully, we will see you tomorrow. Okay, get rest. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, bye bye. Good night. Bye. Get Good. rest. Good night. Do you have a question, Cecilia? No.